I'm Peter Krause, and this is my single survival guide for Valentine's Day, maybe. All right? All right, is that bad? All right, keep going. I have no plan for Valentine's Day. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I would hope we would have a date. What we would do on that date, in the past, I've just done dinner, like a nice steak dinner. In your oh, no, we go out for steak, yeah. I can, I can cook, but steaks are tough. I always burn the grill. It's terrible. So pretty much all my friends at this point are married, so I'm the third wheel constantly. Maybe it's because they've been married for so long, they enjoy the extra company, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Just good conversation, because then you have more people to talk to and the conversation always flows. So I used to be on dating apps uh, when I first moved to Chicago, and I went on one date where she was a little tipsy when she showed up, which was already a bit of a shock. But she explained to me that she had peed herself multiple times in college. She's like, yeah, I would get sick of waiting in line for the porta potties at the football games, so I just pee myself and walk home. <laughs> and I'm like, this is date one. That's that literally like the worst I've ever experienced. Oh, been there. I think we are both going to regret this today. Surround yourself with friends and loved ones. Try not to get out of your normal routine. Like, just go back to what you do. Things will get better as time goes on. After a breakup, exercise is my outlet. I'll go put in a couple miles on the treadmill or go lift some really heavy weights. But yeah, no, no indulging in ice cream. Do people ugly cry just to the song? That's like too recent after a breakup, I feel like. Like, I've never had songs, I guess. walk around them for three days. Depends on how long I date that person. In the past, when I've like stumbled across something from an ex, if it was like a short relationship, I'd throw it away. Get rid of it so it's out of sight, out of mind. But like the, the longest relationship I was ever in was about two years. Yeah, the picture's still on the wall from her and now I look at it back as uh, that was a beautiful time in my life that shaped the person that I am today and it's a good memory. Actually seeing an ex move on with someone else is like a freeing experience. It kind of lifts a weight off of me saying, okay, they've moved on, now I can too. Wedding date, uh, nothing set. Like uh, the winter of next year. That part of my life is officially closed. Seeing someone like loosely dating out and about is harder because you know that they're seeing other people and you're wondering, is that person like me? Are they better than me? Things like that. But knowing that they're happy in a relationship is definitely a, a good thing. Happy Valentine's Day, Us Weekly. <laughs>